So prosecutors and defense attorneys in the classified documents case against former President Donald Trump back in federal court in Fort Pierce today. The judge hearing arguments to dismiss the indictment. Investigative reporter Terry Parker is live for us in Fort Pierce with where things stand right now. Terry. It was a really confusing day in court today because it was going down, just drilling down so much into the minutia of the law that at one point even the judge was like, gosh, this is hard to figure out what exactly you guys are saying. But basically, even though President Trump wasn't in the um, courtroom, the attorneys for the defense were arguing the entire mo uh, indictment should be dismissed, thrown out because they say it fails to say in plain language exactly what the charges are against the defendants. The motion says the government used what they're calling a shotgun pleading, taking a lot of different allegations and wrapping them in negative and unclear language, building up a vague case designed to sway the grand jury when the defense claims it is actually a political attack against Mr. Trump. The defense lawyers say the law requires an indictment to set forth exactly what the defendant is charged with so he can defend himself against it. Trump's valet, Walt Nada, is also charged with the same charges as Trump, concealing classified documents from a grand jury before the FBI swooped in and raided Mar-a-Lago, seizing what they say are those secret documents. But now this attorney says the indictment doesn't say exactly what he did, so the indictment needs to be thrown out. However, the special counsel attorney says it's because the defendants were all part of a conspiracy, and it's okay to charge Nada with the same acts because he is part of the ultimate conspiracy. Tempers flared in the morning session when Nada's attorney claimed Nada was being maliciously prosecuted because he refused to cooperate with the government and testify against Trump. And in the afternoon, Judge Aileen Cannon seemingly exasperated at one point, asking the government to describe what they mean when using words such as corruptly and knowingly, saying real people have to make sense of these issues. So this is one of several motions that the defense has presented seeking to dismiss the indictment. The judge has yet to rule on this one. As I said, it's very complicated and she's going back and forth with case law and the exact reading of the uh, motions that the lawyers are presenting and uh, the counterclaims. And also there was no mention today about when the trial, which has already been delayed, might eventually take place. Live in Fort Pierce, I'm Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.